So civil engineering, what is it? A lot of people think it's architecture. Well, kind of, but really they work together. The architects work on the artistic and creative feel of the design and the civil engineer works on bringing this to life. So let's get into it. There are three main roles as a civil engineer, the designer, the contractor, and the client representative. Okay, so the designer, it's in the name really. With calculations, standards and design software such as AutoCAD, designers can visualise the end structure whilst also pushing boundaries with new and exciting innovations. But it's not all about building mind-blowing skyscrapers like the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world by the way. Sometimes designers work in areas you least expect them to. How about designing a water slide in a theme park? Sounds simple, doesn't it? Let's consider the problems that need to be resolved. They need to ensure the water slide can withstand the weight of the riders, the force of the wind blowing on it, and of course, the rushing water. Because without no water, there is no ride. And what would be the fun in that? Next is the contractor. They turn the plans of a designer into reality. They are responsible for attaining materials, equipment, and labor, all required to carry out projects in accordance with budget, time schedules, and safety regulations. Do these names mean anything to you? Pacific Bridge Company, Barrington Hilp, McClintic Marshall Corporation? These are just some of the contractors who united together to build the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, a massive 1.7 mile long suspension bridge that weighs over 800,000 tonnes whilst also being able to withstand 90 miles an hour winds and magnitude 8 earthquakes. Last, but by no means the least, the client representative. What do they do? Let's think of it this way. If the designers are the composers who write the music and the contractors are the musicians, then the client representatives are the conductors of the orchestra. They ensure the project does not deviate from the client's vision by solving any issues on site between the designer, the contractor and anyone else for that matter. Modern civil engineering is a broad field that comprises of various types of engineers, each specialising in different types of construction. Did you know gusts of 100 miles per hour have been recorded near the top of the Shard, the tallest building in Western Europe? So how is the iconic tower still standing? It's all down to the structural engineers. These guys analyse how such structures can hold up to environmental factors like floods, winds and earthquakes. Here's another problem. You're in Tokyo, Japan. You need to get to Shinjuku from Shibuya in 10 minutes flat. It takes 50 minutes by foot and 14 minutes by car. What do you do? You get on the Tokyo Metro, of course, and get there in seven minutes flat. You have the transportation engineers to thank for such a super fast, super punctual and super everything railway system. And these engineers don't stop there. They are also responsible for highways, ports, airfields, in fact, anything involved from getting from A to B. Sometimes what many think is impossible is actually possible. Imagine a dam that could hold back a 500 foot deep, 10 trillion gallon reservoir. Well, there is such a dam, the Hoover Dam, built in 1936 and is still here today as a source of fresh water, electricity and not to mention a top tourist attraction with more than a million visitors each year. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There are thousands of projects across the globe that civil engineers have been getting stuck into. See, with engineering, you can leave a legacy. You never know, you could help build the next wonder of the world or even design the next shuttle to space. Yes, engineers get involved with everything. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment below on what you would like to see next. Now, if you really liked this video and want to show your support, head over to Patreon. The link's below.